this video i am going to show you how you can use the pwa feature in your react.js website so anyone visiting your website can download it as an application into their mobile devices or any other devices like your computer or something else so why use the pwa feature well besides the obvious which are you are not paying any fees in the app store or play store and also you are not spending any time building a separate application for your website so think of your website like the play store so whenever someone visits from their mobile phone your website they can download it as an application they can get a notification and then they can click download and it will download the application we also have other reasons like your website will load a lot faster also your app works even if the user doesn't have internet connection but this is an option you can make it work offline or not and then on mobile devices your app can be directly to the user's home page screen so in today's video i'll show you how you can create a template which is really easy using a command which create react app provides us and then we are going to deploy it and test it into a mobile device so first of all visit the page down in the description which will redirect you to this page right here and we will copy this link this command right here so let's copy it and now let's go in our folder so make sure you create a folder and click up here and just open the terminal by typing cmd and click enter into your folder now we will copy the command and run it now it says need to install the following packages okay to proceed yes so just y and click enter and we get an error but that's okay so what we can do is right here create dash react dash up add the simple line which is at latest and now click y again and it will install the latest create react app command so what this command will basically do is create a react application using a template of the pwa so in this template it already uses pwa in this react.js application and now in case you already have an application what you can do is again create the application like we did right here and just replace the files with your own but make sure you don't replace the main files files which contain the pwa feature okay we are done so let's do cd and let's go to our app and then open it in our visual studio code now we will open terminal in your terminal and type npm npm run start to run the app so we make sure it works correctly okay so the application works correctly now let's go back to the code and let me show you some critical files so first of all we have the manifest.json which is inside the public folder and here you can specify some details for your application like the sort name the name of it the icons that will be used the start url which that is for on your website if you have multiple pages for example you have a slash contact page if you put that in the start url whenever the user opens the application it will start off from that page so in case you want to do that just do that but for now we will leave it as it was and then you can change the theme color and the background color now let's do some simple changes so let's do youtube tutorial and then here let's do pwa tutorial and then you can change the icons here like i showed you so we have the pngs but i'll leave it as it is i will not put any new logos and that's basically for it let's make a change in the app.js as well so let's do hello youtube learn react pwa with Planko. now what i will go ahead and do is first of all close the application running and now let's open terminal new terminal and we will compile our react.js code so we can 
upload it in, into our web hosting. And to do that, run npm, run build, and this will basically build your application and it will create a new folder right here, the build folder. So now to host it, I'll show you a really simple method or you can go to this video right here. So visit Netlify. Okay, so after you log in, just click right here at the new site and then click deploy manually. And then it will redirect you to this page right here. So we will go on our folder, go into our React application and then drag and drop our build folder here. And it will start uploading and it published. It's a really small app, so that's why it published so fast. So now let's open this link right here. We have to apply one change in our code and that's to go into our index.js file, which is inside the SRC folder. And then right here, change the unregister to register. There we go. And after it published, if we go back to our React app and we refresh the page, now we have a button right here, which if we click it and click install, there we go, it installed the website as an application into my desktop. So in iOS mobile phones, we actually have to create a pop-up which will request for the user then to download it as a PWA. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's copy this command. I have the link down in the description so you can visit it and do the same. Make sure you do dust as save. And after you do that, let's go back. So let's copy this import and let's go to the index.js and import it right here and then go to the PWA prompt and add it besides the app. There we go. Now it has some options you can change like the copy title, the times to show, so how many times it should show the pop-up which will basically tell the user to download it as in PWA and I'll give you an example on how you can change those values. So let's go back and add a custom value which is the copy title and let's do PWA tutorial. And let's leave the other ones as default. Now what we can do is open terminal and then in our, in our React.js application run npm run build to rebuild our application. There we go. Now let's go back to Netlify. Let's go and deploy this and then let's open our folder and then let's drag and drop our build folder. It's uploading. Sometimes it's stuck and it says uploading forever here. So, uh, so refresh your page frequently to check if it is uploaded. And now let's visit it again. And actually, let me visit it from my phone. So first of all, make sure you use Safari to visit the website and as you see, it gives me the pop-up, which is good. So now let's follow along, let's click share and now let's click add to home screen and let's click add. And as you see, it added it to my home screen, which is good. So let's open it and there we go. So it shows the app. So that's it for this video. Let me know down in the comments if you would like me to make a more extensive tutorial on the PWA part or anything else that you would like me to show. So yeah, if you like the video, hit that like button, subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of my future videos. So yeah, see you in the next video.